Hey everybody, hope you're having a great Sunday, enjoying your day. I am here to talk about the greatest game that I have ever witnessed live. Game 6 of the American League Championship Series was last night. <sighs> had a had a good night's sleep. I've, you know, I, I've, I've thought about the game, watched replay after replay this morning. Um, last night, I was on a freaking high. One of the, just the greatest moment, uh, being at Minute Maid, being there with the crowd. Um, just one of the greatest, greatest feelings. Definitely the, the best game I've ever been to. Um, it was just so many emotions. It, it was just so great and just so fun. And, um, you know, you're at the top, you're at the bottom, you know, with Ozuna blowing it. Um, it was just a wild, wild game that I never expected, especially after I went to game one. And game one, you know, was just an awful feeling throughout when we lost seven to nothing. But um, this was a big one. I didn't want game five to happen, I, or I didn't want game six to happen. I knew that after when we had a chance to win it all in game five, I said, let's take it in New York. I know I have tickets, but I want us to seal it in New York and get out of here as fast as we can and get to the World Series. We lost Game 5. I went to bed furious. I was so mad. I, I was like, oh, it's a bullpen day. You know, everyone's saying the Yankees' bullpen's better. The Astros' bullpen definitely had a chip on their shoulder for this game because they wanted to show that everyone that we're the better bullpen. And so we started Peacock. I'll talk about my experience. So Biggio threw out the first pitch to Altuve, two of the, the best players in Astros history. Um, so that was a great moment to see. Um, so the Astros started Brad Peacock. He's a peacock. you got to let him fly. He did his job. I think Peacock did extremely well uh, for the circumstances. Yankees had Chad Green, though, and that was what was really worrying me because Yankee fans were expecting Chad Green to do some big innings um, to really set, you know, set the, set the Yankees in, you know, mo motion, get the momentum going for them, you know, having him do, you know, four or even five innings possibly. Uh, but that did not happen. Chad Green had been pitching so great this postseason. And in the first inning, Yuli hits a three-run bomb. Yuli had hit the ball so well this entire series, but he'd been like one for 20 because it, he had hit at people every freaking time. But this time... Gets it out of the ballpark. At my seat, that was section 405. It was a little hard to see left field. Um, at first, I thought it was just going to clank off the, the wall and be, you know, a big single or a big double, but score a run. Uh, but I see the ball going. I hear the fireworks. I know, oh, it's, it's you know, gone. It's a blast. And so the fans went nuts. We're freaking 3 nothing lead. That is huge right now, especially against the Yankees' bullpen. Yankees would chip away. They'd get one right off the bat in the second. I believe they scored next in the fourth, I think. I think Gio Urshela hit a home run. You know, Yankees calling Gio the god. He, he, he came up big. He hit the big home run. Um, it is 4-2. Bull, Astros bullpen freaking was clutch. We had, you know, Presley getting out of another bases loaded jam. That was the third time he had had bases loaded. He, gets, he throws one pitch, tears scar tissue off his knee in the process. He only needs to throw one pitch. I knew he was hurt. Seeing the tie-in Sean, seeing his face, he wasn't pumped up. You know, I saw him go directly into the clubhouse. So I, I told my mom, I'm like, he's hurt. This, you know, that this is bad. Um, so, but he, he did his job. He got the one pitch on Didi to get the bases loaded out. Um, that was huge. Your Kitty, a rookie. This is the biggest game of his life. And he pitched extremely well. You know, went through this huge, you know, this crazy lineup and did so freaking well. Will Harris, the man in black, freaking he's clutch. He has Johnny Cash's theme song for his music. Um, he's so freaking clutch. Uh, what a season Will Harris has had. His ERA is insane. Um, Will Harris, I would continue to defend this man because people have always been against him in my family, in my, my friends. They're against Will Harris. Will Harris, best reliever we've got going right now. I mean, the dude is lights out by freaking by far. Um, Joe Smith did great. We had, you know, uh, I think that was it. I think Will Harris, Joe Smith. Yeah, you, Presley, your Queedy, Joe Smith, Will Harris, Ozuna. We'll get to that. But the defense, freak, oh my gosh, I almost just knocked that out. I'm so excited. A lot of hand gestures. The defense was freaking phenomenal. Reddick with a crazy diving catch that got the woos going. That made me so freaking happy. Brantley. The double play, the greatest double play I have seen live, no doubt. Brantley, a dude that does not dive head first. I think he's dived once this season, maybe. The guy just doesn't dive. He hits, but he doesn't dive for this ball. You know, he's been injured before. I, 
I guess I understand, but, you know, he's not going to lay out for this. <sighs> Come postseason, it's October baseball. Brantley's laying out. Brantley lays out head first. AJ Hinch says the dude never lays out head first. Never. And I, I think that's the first time he's done it all season. Head first makes the most spectacular catch. Joe Buck was actually insane on the call for it. Fires a bullet to get that double play to get Aaron Judge off first base. Aaron Judge looked pissed. Yuli was fired up. Will Harris, probably the happiest we've ever seen him. Michael Brantley smiling. That's, you know, insane. Um, what, the plays lost their mind for that double play, and I was freaking out every second of it. I mean, that was just such an insane double play, and it was, you know, so freaking good. So, like, just clutch, amazing. I'm sorry I don't have better words to describe it, but it was just insane. And then we had the 6-4-3 double play in the 8th with Altuve. Correa throwing a bullet. I think they said it was the fastest in stat cast for him for a 6-4-3 double play, I think. Um, the dude, I know a lot of people say get rid of Correa because he's hurt all the time. He's been clutch. He had the walk-off home run. He carried us in Game 2 with his defense. He throws bullets, you know, all the time. The dude is insane. Um, so it's just getting him healthy because you know he's going to show up if he's healthy. Um, then came the ninth. We are three outs away from winning this. We get one out. Uh, I think someone, I forget who got the hit to get on. Someone gets hit, or maybe they walked. I don't remember. I don't care. Um, DJ LeMayhew hits a bomb, and it freaking, Springer jumped out of his shoes for this baseball. I honestly, when I saw it there, I did not think he came close to it, but I saw a video of it, and I'm like, oh, wow, he actually did really come really close to it. Um, which really surprised me. If Reddick was in right field, I don't know if he would have made that catch. Mariznick was in uh, center, so that would I, that would play a factor as well. But whew, so close. By that moment, Ozuna blew it. Everyone was so pissed off because he has one job and he blew it. Um, by that moment, DJ hitting a home run. I got some rope, made a noose, wrapped it around my head, was ready to jump. Whew, Ozuna, we have to talk about this. I know he blew it. I know that's just the worst, but... He did not, he was not rattled after that. Struck out Judge, which is huge. Judge could have hit a, a go-ahead home run easily. Gets Glaber Torres to pop up, which was huge. Glaber's been having a freaking phenomenal season, phenomenal postseason. Um, so that could have been, you know, just as, made it even worse. So yes, Ozuna blew it. No, no doubt in that. You know, I'm admitting it, obviously. But wasn't rattled. Got the two big guys after that. Kept us in it. So, Chapman comes in, makes Maldonado look foolish. Maldonado strikes out, wasn't even close. I'm like, oh my gosh, I am about to end it all. Reddick, I think, either flies out, grounds out, I don't remember. Uh, Springer, we got two outs. Springer draws a walk, which is great. Chapman's command wasn't there, gets the high fastball for the walk. We got some momentum. Again, Altuve is coming up. I'm thinking, hit it in the gap. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just like, hit in the gap, maybe get him a third, maybe possibly even score. Don't hit to right. A judge has a cannon. He'll throw him out. I'm just saying, please hit it somewhere left center in the gap that Springer's already off and running. We get two balls. We get a strike. I'm not expecting a home run at all. I know Altuve's the best, but I'm just not. Chapman, you know, has always been, not always been lights out. He's had his troubles. Um, but the dude has a 100-mile-an-hour fastball, and it's going to be so hard to catch up. Now, Tuve said he was sitting slider, which Carlos Correa could not believe because he said, Chapman throws 100 miles an hour, and you're sitting slider. That's insane. So, two one count, two outs, throws the slider, hanging slider, Altuve crushes it, and I jump. I'm already up, but I'm thinking, okay, that's a good shot. I think... I'm I'm nervous. Is it gonna is it gonna be just a high, you know, a loud uh pop up? It's gonna be a loud fly out. I don't know. It's going, going. I look at Gardner. I gotta look at Gardner in the center field, but I look at Gardner especially. Gardner's looking up. Turned his back. He's looking up. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gone. And it's gone. Fireworks, the celebration, you know, the fans freaking out. I'm, I'm uh, you know, social anxiety, me. I'm a germaphobe. I'm high-fiving random people I don't even know. I'm hugging my mom like it's the end of the world. I, I've taken the noose off. He's giving me life. I am like, let's freaking go. Insane. The best moment I've seen in an Astros game in history. Nine months from now in Houston, we're going to have so many babies. It's a fact. I hope a lot of them are named Jose, even the girls. Um, Jose Altuve 
freaking clutch. Like it is, it does not get any better than that. Like you, you have your amazing players that always show up, and you're like, uh, you know, sometimes just it, that's the breaks. They, they'll pop up, they'll ground out, they'll strike out. You know, we'll move on. Hopefully the bullpen can hold up. Re Hector Rondon was in the bullpen. I did not trust that one bit. Um, Altuve continues to be the effing game changer. I mean, the dude is insane. The dude's amazing. Um, the could after that maybe solidify being the best player in Astros history. Let's be honest. Um, I'll never forget that reaction from the crowd. I'll never forget being in the crowd during that. That was such a freaking awesome experience. It was great seeing the post game thing with the Astros, the ceremony. It, um, Altuve getting the MVP trophy. <sighs> what a freaking series! Four to two, the Astros win it, punch their ticket to the World Series. I'm so happy I was I was there. I survived Game Six. Got New York stuff in the background. I know a lot of people are gonna ask about that. I put that up, you know, long, long time ago. Um, the Yankees are a great team, but I, I, you know, I live for the Houston Astros. I love baseball, so that's why I got I got Red Sox stuff. I got Yankee stuff on, um, but I just love baseball. I just love it so. Houston Astros, that was such a freaking awesome game. I'm so happy that I was there to see it live. My voice is freaking oh, awful. Um, but it's just been so, it's such a freaking great game. So crazy. I was so happy that I was there. We got the Nationals now, so I'm very excited for the World Series. I don't know if my heart can take it, but this is going to be such a good pitching matchup. I mean, Cole versus Scherzer, Verlander versus Strasburg, Grinky versus Corbin. Yankees will be back. Don't fret, young Yankees fans. I know I know it's easy to say being on the winning side, but Yankees are always there, so they'll be back. And so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my experience, me telling you know what my thoughts and all that. The biggest thing is Brantley's double play and the Altuve, of course, walk off. Brantley's double play, I think, was one of the most insane defensive plays I've seen. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're bringing back, we're taking it back. We're taking that World Series trophy. Just just an awesome day. Awesome freaking night. I'm still on a high from it. I didn't think it was possible. I thought I was going to wake up and it was a dream. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. As always, have a great day.